What is a relation? It involves the association of an object or an individual with another individual or an object. And what is a relation in mathematics? It involves the association of an object from one category or one set with another from other set. For understanding relation, let's revise Cartesian product. Cartesian product of a set A and set B is denoted by A cross B, which is equal to ordered pair A comma B, such that first element A belongs to first set and B belongs to second set. And element A cross B are ordered pair. This element A comma B are ordered pair. For example, set A is X Y Z. Set B is having element 1, 2, 3. Then all the possibilities of this order pair will be x, 1, x, 1, x, 2, x, 3, y, 1, y, 2, y, 3, z, 1, z, 2, z, 3. Where the element from set A are present at the first position and element from set B are present at the second position. The element of A1 cross, A2 cross, so on are ordered n tuple. And if you are performing operation on only two set Cartesian product, so it will be by Cartesian product. Binary relation. A binary relation R from a set A to set B, that is A, R, B which is going from set A to set B is a subset R, subset of A cross B, means it is a subset of Cartesian product of A cross B. Why we are calling this is a binary relation? Because here we are performing Cartesian product on two sets, on by set. So that's why it's a binary set. If you are performing Cartesian product on a N set, then it will be nary relation. For example, relation the same example where a is x y z b is 1 2 3 and cartesian product is this then we can say a small subset can be only these two element so which will be my relation binary relation on a single set with itself a binary relation r on a set is a subset of a cross a or a, or relation r from a to a which is going from set a to set a for example, set A is ABC, then R can be A comma A, A comma B, A comma C is a relation. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, the ordered pairs in the relation can be AB such that A divides B. Means here you should have the element here B is divisible by A. The elements can be 1 comma 1. 2 can be divided by 1, 3 can be divided by 1, 4 can be divided by 1, 2 is divisible by 2, 4 is divisible by 2 and so on. Binary relation on a set. So how many relation are there on a set? If your set A is having n element, then A cross A will be n into n, it will be n square, where A has n elements. A set M element has 2 to the power m subsets remember we have performed power set so if you are having two elements so power set of a set is 2 to the power 2 which is 2 to the power m subset so for a set with m element you will get 2 to the power m subset here we have to find how many relations are there on a set so we will going to find subset of A cross A that many relation can be possible on set A. So subset of A cross A which will consist of subset of n square elements and subset of any element will be 2 to the power that element. Here element is n square so it will be 2 to the power n square which is 2 to the power cardinality of A square which is can, can also be written as 2 to the power cardinality of A into cardinality of a because we are performing Cartesian product on A cross A. Any subset of A cross B is called a binary relation from A to B. Any subset is A cross A is a binary relation where A is M and B is N. The cardinality of A is M and the cardinality of B is N. Then there are 2 to the power M cross A n relations from A to B are possible.
let's see some of the example of uh, properties of relation a is my 1 2 3 4 b is my a b c d a cross b is all possible cartesian product order pairs on set a and b where elements from a will be present at first position in the order pair and element from set b will be present at the second position my relation is given that it's 1 comma a 1 comma b 1 comma c 2 comma b 2 comma c 2 comma d this is my relation in that the terminologies present in the relation are domain range inverse complement domain is set of all first entries of order pair in r so here set of all first entries in my order pair are r 1 1 1 2 2 2 so means there are only two elements that is 1 2 so domain is 1 2 range is set of all second entries in your order pair of relation r now here all the second entries in my relation r that is a b c b c d means there are a b c d elements are present in your second position of your order pair of relation so your range is a b c d inverse is exactly in opposite way how you will write your order pair your order pair for relation are a comma b so its mirror image will be b comma a so that is the inverse of your relation which will be a comma 1 b comma 1 c comma 1 b comma 2 c comma 2 d comma complement of relation is element which are not present in your relation but present in your cartesian product which will be now 1a is present 1a 1b 1c is present so what are the elements which are not present in my relation but present in cartesian product so it will be 1a is present 1b is present 1c is present so remaining elements 2b is present 2c and 2d so these remaining elements will be my complement of relation let's solve one example set a is 1 2 3 4 set b is 1 4 6 8 9 a r b means a relation exists which is going from set a elements to set b elements if and only if b is equal to a square the meaning of this is that your first element is from a and your second element which is b which is from set b such that it is a square of your first element means your order pair will be a comma a square so we have to perform square of 1 is 1 okay that is present in b that will be 1 comma 1 square of 2 is 4 which is present in b so it will be 2 comma 4 pair is present square of 3 is 9 so 3 comma 9 is another pair square of 4 is 16 which is not present so only these three elements are present in my relation we will draw this and our domain is first entries first place entries in your relation order pair so that are 1 2 3 range will be second entries in your order pair 1 4 9 inverse will be mirror image of your each and every element in your relation 1 1 4 2 9 3 and complement will be all the remaining elements which are present in your cartesian product but not in relation there are some of the four possible representation of relation we can represent a relation as a matrix as a directed graph or as an arrow diagram or as a table let's see example a is 1 2 3 4 b is 1 4 6 8 9 and the same above previous example where relation is going from a to b such that b is square of first element now relation is 1 comma 1 2 comma 4 3 comma 9 here matrix representation will be all the rows are coming from set a all the columns are coming from your set b and if the element is present then and then only we will write one and one entry in your matrix otherwise zero so there are only these three elements are present so one one will be one two four position will be placed with 1 and 3 ninth position will be placed with 1 all other are 0 second representation is directed graph here in the directed graph we keep from all of these two sets whatever numbers we are having distinct numbers we keep a node for that this is a node and if relation is going from a to b then we draw arrow going from a to b 
now first element is going from 1 to 1 so we have drawn a self arrow second element is going from 2 to 4 so we are drawing a arrow which is going from 2 to 4 third element is 3 to 9 arrow is drawn from 3 to 9 next representation is an arrow diagram here you will just write inside your ellipse first elements inside your ellipse from first set whatever elements you have that is one two three four second ellipse will consist of all the elements from second set that is one four six eight nine and if there exists an element which is going from a to b or there is order pair a comma b then there will be arrow in between them so one comma one is present two comma four and three comma nine and the last representation is its table representation in which we tabularly write the entries a row are your set a first set columns are your second set entries and if the element is present you will place cross over that side